In this video, I'm just going to talk about the different selection tools on my toolbar. This first set of five tools, those are your actual selection, moving, and tools like that. So the very first one is just the mouse pointer, which there aren't any options for it. And essentially, that just lets you drag and drop shapes. Now, you can't just move this entire image, right? So I can't just move uh, Lucy here around. I have to actually have something to move. The one next to that is the crop tool. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So say I want to crop her face and then I push enter. It then actually goes ahead and changes the image size to whatever my crop window was. This is my marquee selection. So you'll notice that one, you can type in specific sizes if you'd like. You can either do a square marquee or a circular marquee. And if I go ahead and say drag this circle around Lucy's face here, I then have these kind of marching ants, and that's what's selected. So if I now grab my mouse tool, I could then go ahead and drag her face. Now what you're seeing behind her face, that is the background. So when I made this document, I said that this was not a transparent uh, drawing. So now you'll see that as I move her around, I'm actually picking up all these different parts and selections from this document. Now, other than dragging a face around, what you could also do is say, use another tool. So for example, other tools are confined to the selection. So even though I'm going way over my borders when I'm using the eraser tool, I can only draw within this selection. I can also inverse my selection. So underneath the edit win window here, I could then go ahead and say inverse selection. So now instead of being able to draw on her face, I can only draw around her face. If you want to deselect, it's Control, Command, or Alt D, um, depending on whatever computer you're on, or it's underneath the edit window as well. Then we have the lasso tool. So instead of doing, say, a square or circular marquee, it lets you kind of freehand draw a marquee. So I can actually kind of follow Lucy around here and oops, hang on one sec, let me try that again. I can actually go ahead and follow Lucy's body around here, kind of rough all the way around. Not doing the best job here. Just tracing her all the way around. And then when I let go of dragging, I have her selected. Then what I could do is I could say edit inverse selection and hit the backspace key and now I got rid of the background all the way around here. And then of course I could use say the eraser tool or something to clean that up. Uh, there's also the polygon lasso tool, very similar, but instead of being super freehand, it kind of locks you in to sharp edges. So it's for doing say more square objects like so. And then lastly, we have the magic wand. Now, the only option here that's really super relevant is the tolerance. So that's kind of how specific it is. So what the magic wand does is it tries to find similar colors. So if I try to select her nose on, say, her white face here, you can see that it went ahead and it found her nose just fine. If I were to change the tolerance to, say, 100%, it's going to select a lot more than just her nose. In fact, it's going to select a lot of area around it because that's too high of a tolerance. You can kind of edit that tolerance to really get the accuracy rating, rating you want here. So now that I only have five, it's not even selecting her entire nose. If I go back to 30 and try that again, it's gonna select just about the entire nose. 